最近读经的进度啊，啊，在周末是《使徒行传》第九章。Um, according to the Bible reading plan for this weekend, uh, we're supposed to read Acts chapter nine. Ah, 使徒行传第九章啊，当然就是提到保罗他信主耶稣的经过。Acts chapter nine um describes how Paul uh came to believe in the Lord. Ah, 其中啊也提到一位啊教法师，就是亚拿尼亚。And um a a character in chapter nine was a um. A teacher by the name of um, Ananias or a mentor. Ah, 这位呢，啊，也就是保罗的启蒙的老师。And he is also Paul's mentor. 那所谓的启蒙呢，就是让这个人呢，他本来是看不清楚的，啊，能够让他看得很清楚。Um, a mentor is someone who uh leads um a person uh into uh, into understanding or uh, to see things. Uh, a clearer. 那看清楚以后啊，他什么事情都看得很明白的。And uh, with this mentor's help, uh, one can see uh, things and understand things better. 那要让这个人看得清楚，他本身呢，一定要先看得清楚。And before uh, this mentor can lead someone in seeing clearly, uh, the mentor himself has to. Uh, has clear vision or clear sight. Ah, 能够带领他脱离那个黑暗、看不清楚的范围，然后使他进入到一个很明朗、看清清楚。So that the mentor can lead a person from a blurry, uh, situation into a, uh, uh, um, into a situation where everything can be clearly and clearly seen and understood. 那保罗他自己呢，也提到他这位启蒙老师亚拿尼亚。And Paul himself also talked about his mentor,、uh, and that mentor is Ananias. 啊，请看《使徒行传》的二十二章。Uh, please turn to Acts chapter twenty-two. 使徒行传的二十二章。Acts twenty-two. 二十二章是记载保罗向百姓的申诉啊。Uh, Acts twenty-two is uh, Paul's um, a defense before the people. Ah, 也就是他一段讲话的内容。And or it was a discourse or a, or a speech that he made to the people. 啊，他自己在叙述啊，他信耶稣的经过。And he was describing、uh, his path of conversion. 那我们来看第十一节。Now let's read uh, verse eleven. 十一节。Verse eleven. And since I could not see for the glory of that light, being led by the hand of those who were with me, I came into Damascus. Twelve. Then a certain Ananias, a devout man according to the law, having a good testimony with all the Jews who dwelt there. Ah, so Paul himself introduced this one, ah, his teacher, Ananias. So Paul himself introduced his mentor, Ananias. Ah, how did he describe him? So how did Paul describe Ananias? He was a devout man according to the law. He was a devout man according to the law. He was a devout man according to the law. He was a devout man according to the law. He was a devout man according to the law. He was a devout man according to the law. He was a devout man according to the law. He was a devout man according to the law. He was a devout man according to the law. He was a devout man according to the law. He was a devout man according to the law. He was a devout man according to the law. He was a devout man according to the law. He was a devout man according to the law. He was a devout man according to the law. Uh, because at that time, Ananias was already a believer of Jesus. And Ananias had also received the promised Holy Spirit. And this is the reason why he was able to baptize Paul. And it was also the reason why he was able to receive uh, uh, the ministry of sending Paul. So, here it says, "Under the law." That can be seen that he was very familiar with the law. So, here it says that he is a devout man according to the law. So, it means that he is very familiar with the law. So, he can be called under the law, be called a Christian, and make it look like he is a 
，他也很虔诚，但是他又不是因为遵循律法，靠着那个律法来得救的人。So according to the law, others could see that he was a righteous man, but yet at the same time he is not someone justified by the law. 所以可见第一个，他自己本身也了解耶稣基督是谁。So, firstly,、uh, Ananias understood who Jesus was. He also understood the past, the history, the law, and the content. And he also, also understood uh, uh, the, uh, the historical perspective as well as the content of the law. So he was a man who、uh, was well versed in both sides. So he was a man who was well versed in both sides. So he was a man who was well versed in both sides. So he was a man who was well versed in both sides. Why he was qualified to be Paul's mentor? Ah, this person, ah, 又是为那个住在犹太人啊，那个地方的犹太人所称赞。And uh, uh, this person or Ananias is was also had a good testimony with all the Jews who dwelt there. Ah, 这些犹太人呢，可能是已经信耶稣的人，已经明白哈。律法、啊、已经结束了。耶稣现在是耶稣基督恩典的时代的。So these Jews perhaps had kept the law previously, but now it's the time of Jesus, and they are saved、uh, by Jesus. 说这些人呢也很称赞亚拿尼亚。And these people also praised Ananias. 因为他很虔诚。Because he was devout. 他就相信耶稣基督是神的儿子。And and and he also believed that um Jesus Christ is the Son of God. 相信耶稣基督从死里复活。And he also believed that um the Lord Jesus Christ are resurrected from the dead. From the from death. 所以亚拿尼亚他知道耶稣基督是谁呀 ？Um before Ananias knew who um Jesus Christ was. 啊，请看使徒行传。Now let's turn to um Acts. 第九章。Chapter nine. 第九章第五节。Verse five. 第九章第五节。Acts nine verse five. And he said, "Who are you, Lord?" Then the Lord said, "I am Jesus, whom you are persecuting. It is hard for you to kick against the goats." 这个《使徒行传》的第九章第五节啊，这边说，他说，他这里指的保罗了，当时扫罗他还没信主以前，他说啊，主啊，你是谁？ So verse five here says that, and he said, and this he refers to Paul, who asked, "Who are you, Lord?" So, 当时他还不认识基督耶稣。So at that time, ah, Paul still did not ah know the Lord Jesus. 他说他在这个以前的老师是加玛利亚，加玛利亚是相当有名的一个学者啊。Because his teacher at this point in time was Gamaliel, who was a famous a teacher at that time. Gamaliel 在历史上曾经留过名啊。And he, um, Gamaliel was a、uh, prominent historical figure. 因为他是很有名的律法师啊，对律法非常熟悉。Because he was a famous um a lawyer or someone who knows the law very well. 但是他没有成为保罗的启蒙老师啊。But、uh, he did not become Paul's mentor. 因为加玛利亚他也不认识耶稣基督啊，就是神的儿子啊。Uh, because Gamaliel doesn't know that、um, the, uh, Jesus Christ is the Son of God. 哎，就是他们所等候的弥赛亚。Or that Jesus was the very Messiah that they that they had been waiting for. 那假若他认识的话 ，Had Gamaliel uh rec not recognize or know Jesus? 我们看保罗在他的脚前受教育。And Paul had been learning、uh, under him. 在脚前受教育，就是表示他非常认真听啊，他是一个好学生啊。So um. Uh, literally, Paul was learning、uh, by Gamaliel's feet. Means that he's he's he pays great attention. 假若加玛利亚能够明白耶稣基督是谁的话，那他就不会教了保罗去逼迫基督徒啊。So had Gamaliel knew who Jesus Christ was, he would not have taught a、uh, Saul or Paul、uh, to persecute the Christians. 可见加玛利亚他对律法是非常熟悉。So Gamaliel is someone who is very familiar with the law. 但是他不知道律法时代已经结束了。But he did not know that the era of the law had ended. 他不知道耶稣基督已经来了。And he did not know that the Lord Jesus has has come. 所以保罗就没有学到这一点了。Therefore, Paul was never taught this a point. 因为他说主啊，您是谁？ So Paul asked,、uh, "Who are you, Lord?" But at that point in time, Ananias already knew who Jesus was. Ah, let's read verse ten. Verse ten. Now there was a certain disciple at Damascus named Ananias, and to him the Lord said in a vision, "Ananias," and he said, "Here I am, Lord." Oh, we look at these two contrasts. 
。前面保罗他说：“主啊，你是谁？” So let's make a comparison. Uh, in the earlier verse, uh, Paul asked, "Who are you, Lord?" 那这里亚拿尼亚是说：“主啊，我在这里呀。” And here Ananias was saying, "A Lord, here I am." 一对一样的主，多向他们显现啊。So, uh, um, for both of them, um, uh, the Lord appears. 但是保罗不知道他是谁啊。But Paul did not know who he was. 可是亚拿尼亚已经知道了。But Ananias already knew who he was. 所以他就直接问说：“哎，我在这里呀。” So Ananias right away said, "Here I am." 啊，就是准备接受主耶稣基督的差遣。He was ready uh to accept uh uh the 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 ministry that the Lord had for him. 所以他说我在这里。So he said, "Here I am." 因此他能够成为保罗的启蒙老师。Therefore, this is one reason why he could uh be Paul's mentor. 他说第一个，他不但是对律法熟悉。So and uh so Ananias was not only uh well versed with the law. 他也知道耶稣基督是谁。He also knew who the Lord Jesus Christ was. 因此他知道这两者之间的关系。Therefore, he knew the relationship between these two. And he was able to link them together. But Paul at that time still could not link this together. He 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 still could not So as a mentor, he ought to uh, uh, serve as a good role model. And he has to know whom they have believed. So he can teach his students very well. Only through this way can he teach his students well. But the teaching is not enough. 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 But Uh, we have to uh, we have to act out uh, what we teach to show our students. 当时保罗因为还不认识基督耶稣。Ah, but because Paul still uh, did not uh, know uh, Jesus Christ. 所以他逼迫基督徒，逼迫的非常厉害。Therefore, he uh, persecuted the Christians very um, harshly. 啊，甚至要这些基督徒啊说亵渎的话。He even wanted the Christians to blaspheme. 他是决心呢。把这些信耶稣的人全部消灭。Their faith, and he he was determined to exterminate all the Christians. 把基督徒啊抓进监牢。And put all the Christians in jail. 那这么一号人物啊，大家都知道了。So everyone knows such a um a um a, 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 a terrible figure at that time. 他可以说是啊，犹太教的极端分子。So uh he could can be uh 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 he can be described as a fanatic of Judaism. 因为他信得很彻底。Uh because he was so engrossed in in Judaism. 那现在，主啊，主啊，说叫亚拿尼亚去见。So now, the Lord instructed Ananias to seek out Paul. Now let's read verse eleven. Verse eleven. So the Lord said to him, "Arise and go to the street called Straight, and inquire at the house of Judas for one called Saul of Tarsus. For behold, he is praying." 好，再看十三节。And let's jump to verse thirteen. Then Ananias answered. Lord, I have heard from many about this man how much harm he has done to your saints in Jerusalem. Fourteen, and here he has authority from the chief priests to bind all who call on your name. Ananias, he knew this Paul. So Ananias knew uh, knew, uh, this notoriety of uh, Paul. So he heard the Lord was going to visit him. He immediately reacted. So, 哎呀，这个怎么可以呀、啊、？So when he heard the Lord instructed him to seek out Paul,、uh, his first reaction was, "How could this be?" 意思就是说，啊，主啊，你要叫我去送死啊。Uh, in other words, he was asking the Lord, "Are you asking me to uh to go seek death?" 因为这一号人物啊，是多多苦害你的圣徒啊。Because this person has done much harm uh to your saints. 啊，不但是如此，他最近呢，啊，又得到从祭司长得到的权柄，得到那个书信，哈、啊，我要去捆绑基督徒。And not only that, he has authority from the chief priests to bind all who believe in you. 啊，等于说是投下了特务，投下了那个
So in other words, he's like a special agent. Wow, this is very scary. So he's a scary figure. So Ananias was telling the Lord, no, no. Let's read verse 15. But the Lord said to him, go, for he is a chosen vessel of mine to bear my name before Gentiles, kings, and the children of Israel. 16. For I will show him how many things he must suffer for my name's sake. But the Lord told him, just go. So I'm the one who tells you to go, so I will be responsible for everything. Let's read verse 17. And Ananias went his way and entered. Okay. So Ananias went his way. Uh, because Jesus simply said, Go. You just go and I will handle the rest. So he went. So Ananias was very submissive. Although the mission was very difficult. Because he, did, he, he, doesn't, he didn't know if Paul would accept him. So he merely went uh, uh, based on what the Lord had told him. So he, he no longer uh, thinks about the consequence. So this is the spirit of one who is submissive. When a person thinks too much and considers too many factors and consider this problem and that difficulty, then he will, then he will not, uh, uh, he will be afraid to move forward. So a submissive person uh, would put away their own um, uh, uh, thoughts or prejudices. Uh, because according to his own understanding or perspective, he should not go. But since it is um, the Lord's commandment, Regardless how difficult the mission was, simply because the Lord told him to go, he went. So Thank God, um, uh, members uh, are willing uh, to uh, be nominated as a council member. Although the, the task at hand is uh, difficult, and perhaps you may receive a criticisms because of your duty, but simply because of the Lord's word, you just go and do it. And I will be responsible for the rest. So a submissive person will say, yes, then he will go. So Ananias so Ananias showed or displayed his submissive spirit. So a good mentor uh, not only has to um, uh, know the, the, content, uh, uh, the content of what he's teaching, he also has to um, walk his talk. Um, uh, for example, as religious education teachers, we also serve as a mentors. Because our students are all younger than us. Um, there are many things that we can uh, see clear, cl very clearly, but our students may not. They may not fully understand the content of the Bible. So we teach them. But a good mentor not only teaches, but he has to complement his teachings with his actions. Therefore, Ananias had the submissive spirit. He also encouraged Paul. Uh, he knew that Paul was a fanatic of uh, Judaism. So he 
So Ananias uh, introduced himself and, uh, uh, and told Paul who had sent him. Uh, in, or, in order to um, approach a fanatic uh, of Judaism like Paul, uh, in, in actuality, Paul was very well versed with the law. I, 主耶稣啊，在荣光当中向他显现. And the Lord Jesus showed Himself to Paul in the light. So he had this um uh, already had this um understanding of of the Lord. Ananias为了要使这一趟的旅程啊，这一趟的任务很比较顺利，他就告诉保罗说是谁派他去的。so in order to make his mission go more smoothly, um, then Ananias told Paul who had sent him. Let's continue to read uh, verse 17. 17, And Ananias went his way and entered the house. And laying his hands on him, he said, Brother Saul, the Lord Jesus, who appeared to you on the road as you came, has sent me that you may receive your sight and be filled with the Holy Spirit. Oh. So here Ananias is saying that I am not here out of my own will. So he Ananias clearly told Paul that it was the Lord Jesus whom you who whom you persecuted and who appeared to you on the road who sent me here. Uh, because the Lord Jesus had self-introduced himself to Paul. So now Ananias put forth the Lord. He said, it's the Lord Jesus who sent me here. Likewise, when we do church work, uh, we can also say that it's the Lord Jesus that has sent me. Therefore, I do it. At the same time, he also uh, told Paul uh, uh, the purpose of his mission. It's so that you may receive your sight. So we said earlier, a mentor is someone who gives sight. And of course, it's the Lord Jesus who uh, uh, restored um, Paul's sight. And secondly, he has to be filled with the Holy Spirit. In other words, um, Paul has to be taught how to pray. And, has, um, and Paul has to be encouraged to, be, uh, to, to, to pursue the fullness of the Spirit. And at the same time, uh, he encouraged Paul to accept uh, water baptism. Uh, let's read Acts 22. Acts 22, verse 16. Acts 22, verse 16. And now, why are you waiting? Arise and be baptized and wash away your sins, calling on the name of the Lord. So Ananias was very clear with the gospel of Jesus Christ. So Ananias encouraged Paul, and now why are you waiting? So why does Paul need to be baptized? Uh, so that uh, your sins can be washed away. Therefore, Paul had a very clear understanding of the doctrine of Baptism. In Romans 6, we can see that Paul was able to write a very detailed explanation of the teaching of water baptism. It's because he had gone through this um, experience. Therefore, um, Ananias encouraged Paul to be baptized right now. And he also entrusted a mission onto Paul. And of course, this mission came from the Lord Jesus. Let's continue to read Acts chapter 9. Acts chapter 9. Acts chapter 9, verse 15. Verse 15. But the Lord said to him, Go, for he is a chosen vessel of mine to bear my name before Gentiles 
kings and the children of Israel. 16. For I will show him how many things he must suffer for my name's sake. So these are the words of the Lord Jesus to Ananias. When the Lord Jesus showed himself to Paul, uh, he only told Paul that you must go to Damascus and seek out someone by the name of Ananias. Damascus. And um, the Lord Jesus at that time had not told Paul his uh, mission. And instead, uh, God wanted um, um, uh, Ananias to tell Paul Paul his mission. So um, the Lord Jesus told Ananias uh, the mission that Paul had to accomplish. And then in turn, Ananias would tell Paul. Because at that point in time, the Lord Jesus did not directly tell Paul. So he told him his mission. And after he was baptized, so after he was baptized, did it, um, everyone just go their own way? Now let's turn to Acts chapter 9. Acts chapter 9, verse 19. Uh, verse 19. So when he had received food, he was strengthened. Then Saul spent some days with the disciples at Damascus. So here it says that Saul spent some days with the disciples at Damascus. So Saul spent some days with the disciples at Damascus. After Saul believed in Christ, he still remained in Damascus. So the disciples at Damascus would include Ananias. Because Ananias also resided in Damascus. In other words, they continued to live together and to share the word. And discuss the word. So what were they discussing? So they were discussing the content of the gospel that they were preaching then. So what was the content of the gospel? First, is to prove that the Lord Jesus has resurrected from death. And second is to prove that the Lord Jesus is the Son of God. So how then did they prove all these teachings? And to do so, they encouraged them to um, seek for the fullness of the Holy Spirit. And after they have received the promised Holy Spirit, then everything will become clear. So Ananias taught Paul. And at the same time, Ananias became someone who uh, uh, changed Paul's life and testified the change in Paul's life. Uh, because everyone knew then uh, that Paul was a great persecutor of Christians. But now he has become a one who is willing to suffer for the name of Christ. Uh, because uh, Paul has been transformed by the renewing of his mind. So from his inner hearts, his mind and thoughts had been transformed. Including his um his his values on life and uh, his his views on life and his moral values. Uh, later we're gonna sing a hymn. Hymn 101. Hymn 101. The first verse says, um, uh, only, uh, 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 only love ourselves and not uh, Christ. 
But as we uh, transform our lives, uh, we will love only the Lord and less and less of ourselves. And then uh, we keep progressing. And less of self and more of Christ. Please turn to Him 101. And ultimately, is none of self and all of thee. So in the beginning, it starts off with all of self and none of thee. And then later on, uh, we progress to, although loving ourselves, we also love uh, God at the same time. We love both. And next is less of self and more of Christ. And finally, none of self and all of Christ. So this shows the transformation of our lives. So the same goes for Paul. Uh, he started off as someone who did not know uh, Christ, Lord. He only cared about his own ambitions and pursuits. He didn't care who uh, Christ was. But now he did not think at all about himself. He focused and concentrated only on the Lord and to preach the gospel. And, and for his mission, he was greatly persecuted and suffered greatly for the Lord. So his life was transformed. And he was someone who also entered from the law to grace. And he was one who uh, who left a bondage into um, release. So from Paul's letters, we can see how his life had um had had had, had developed and grow. So Acts chapter nine was a very important uh. Mm, milestone in Paul's life. And in his um, in the letters that he he writes, we could see how this Acts chapter nine affected the content of his future letters. So Paul's mentor was Ananias. Uh, but the Bible did not record uh, uh, in many uh, passages about Ananias. It's only found in this uh, passage here. So this was also a, 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 a point in time or a, 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 a period of time that God has prepared. Oh, so after this period is over, uh, then um, his mission has ended. Because God has specifically uh, chosen Ananias uh, to be the mentor of Paul. Therefore, each and every one of us, uh, we all exist in in a point in time of history. And God has also prepared each and every one of us a point in time in history to help others. So today, we all have come here to study the Bible. We have come here to try and build a relationship with Jesus. And we do this to prepare for the Lord. And it's also the Lord preparing us so that we can do good in the future. It is also to prepare us so that in the future we can lead someone from darkness into light. So that we can also serve as mentors. Therefore, we all first ought to have a, a clear understanding of the doctrines. And at the same time, we must um, uh, do uh, act. Uh, we must um, do or act out what we preach. Just like um, Ananias. So let us um uh, um. 
uh, uh, do uh, what God wants us uh, to uh, to accomplish. 好，请看以弗所书第二章。Uh, please turn to Ephesians chapter two, 第十节 verse ten. Ephesians two verse ten. 第二章第十节 Ephesians chapter two verse ten. For we are his workmanship, created in Christ Jesus for good works, which God prepared beforehand that we should walk in them. So we are all the Lord's workmanship. So we're all the Lord's workmanship. Oh, in Christ Jesus. Created in Christ Jesus. We are all the Lord's workmanship. Created in Christ Jesus. We are all the Lord's workmanship. Created in Christ Jesus. We are all the Lord's workmanship. Created in Christ Jesus. We are all the Lord's workmanship. Created in Christ Jesus. We are all the Lord's workmanship. Created in Christ Jesus. We are all the Lord's workmanship. Created in Christ Jesus. We are all the Lord's workmanship. Created in Christ Jesus. We are all the Lord's workmanship. Created in Christ Jesus. We are all the Lord's workmanship. Created in Christ Jesus. We are all the Lord's workmanship. Created in Christ Jesus. We are all the Lord's workmanship. Created in Christ Jesus. We are all the Lord's workmanship. Created in Christ Jesus. We are all the Lord's workmanship. Created in Christ Jesus. We are all the Lord's workmanship. Created in Christ Jesus. We are all the Lord's workmanship. Created in Christ Jesus. We are all the Lord's workmanship. Created in Christ Jesus. We are all the Lord's workmanship. Created in Christ Jesus. We are all the Lord's workmanship. Created in Christ Jesus. We are all the Lord's workmanship. Created in Christ Jesus. We are all the Lord's workmanship. Created in Christ Jesus. We are all the Lord's workmanship. Created in Christ Jesus. We are all the Lord's workmanship. Created in Christ Jesus. We are all the Lord's workmanship. Created in Christ Jesus. We are all the Lord's workmanship. Created in Christ Jesus. We are all the Lord's workmanship. Created in Christ Jesus. We are all the Lord's workmanship. Created in Christ Jesus. We are all the Lord's So this was something that God had prepared for us to do. So, 有人说养兵千日啊，用之于一时啊。养兵千日，我们现在在累积我们的能量。So there's a saying that goes that uh, uh, we need to start preparing early so that we can be ready uh, to work. 啊，就是有一天要为之所用。Uh, in other words, so that one day we can be ready to be used by the Lord. Ah, 假如能够帮助一个人做一个生命的更新 And if we can help someone to renew their lives, 啊，这个内心是非常愉快的 Then this person's inner lives will be very joyful. 啊，所以一个罪人悔改啊，天上使者也是非常高兴 Therefore, when a sinner repents, the angels in heaven rejoices. 啊，大家也很喜的 And everyone also rejoices. 啊，整个教会也会很喜的 And then the whole church will also be joyful. Therefore, the mentor of Paul, Ananias, had given us a good role. It's a good role model for us. We are now currently in helping others to become mentors. Perhaps we are currently serving as mentors for others. That could be tomorrow. Or perhaps tomorrow will serve as one. So we need to follow Ananias' example. So let us follow the example of Ananias. Learn to follow Jesus. We need to know who the Lord Jesus is. In 行动啊，做出来。And to act out uh what we teach. Yeah, 再唱诗。Let's sing him. 一百零一首。A one o one. 
请坐 